Welcome to Vega in den Beruf, German for your career. Thank you for watching. This presentation will introduce you to German nouns and definite articles in the nominative case. By the end of this presentation, you will have learned about the grammatical gender and number of German nouns, how the gender and number determine the definite articles of the nouns, and how rules can sometimes be used to determine the gender of nouns. Finally, we will talk briefly about how to use a dictionary to determine the gender and definite article of nouns. Let's get started. As you see with the example on the screen, nouns in English usually do not manifest any grammatical gender, although they do distinguish between singular and plural forms. The definite article that precedes both singular and plural forms of the noun is always the. It is important to know, however, that German nouns have a grammatical gender. They are either masculine, feminine, or neuter. There is usually a correspondence between the actual biological gender of a noun, if there is one, and its grammatical gender. Otherwise, the grammatical gender of a German noun seems to be somewhat random, especially to a person learning German for the first time. The grammatical gender of a German noun determines its definite article. Masculine nouns have the definite article der. Feminine nouns have the definite article d, And neuter nouns have the definite article das. As in English, German nouns can also be singular or plural. However, plural German nouns, unlike German singular nouns, do not manifest any gender, and their definite article is always d. Let's take a look at some examples. The German noun Lebenslauf, or Resume, is a singular masculine noun. Therefore, its definite article will always be der. Adresse, however, is a singular feminine noun meaning address, and therefore its definite article must be d. The German noun Handy, or mobile phone, is a singular neuter noun. Therefore, its definite article is always das. Finally, the German noun Geschwister, meaning siblings, refers to a group of people and therefore is automatically a plural noun. Its definite article will always be D. Let's now take a look at how we could apply German nouns and definite articles in the nominative case. The explanations that follow will help you to complete the related online course activity. Often when you encounter a German noun, such as when filling out the personal information section of a German resume, it will be difficult to determine the grammatical gender of the noun as there is no definite article that precedes the noun. In this case, it is important to know that there are some rules that can help you determine the grammatical gender. The German noun Staatsangehörigkeit, for example, ends in the suffix kite which is always a characteristic of feminine singular nouns in German. The definite article of this noun, therefore, must be D. There are several rules governing the grammatical gender of German nouns, and it would be impossible to go over each rule in this presentation. Please consult your own textbook or conduct a web search to find out more about these rules. Finally, you can always consult a dictionary or the module vocabulary list to determine the definite article of a German noun. Looking up Staatsangehörigkeit in the vocabulary list will reveal that it is preceded by the definite article D, which means that it could be either a singular feminine noun or a plural noun. Once we determine that the noun is indeed not plural, we can safely say that Staatsangehörigkeit is a singular feminine noun. This concludes the presentation on German nouns and definite articles in the nominative case. Be sure now to test your knowledge by completing the related online course activity. Vega in den Beruf is a production of German Studies at Elon University. The course is released under a Creative Commons, Attribution, Non-Commercial, Share-Alike 4.0 International License. Don't be a square. Remix and share.